hear a lot about identity theft with the number of incidents rising as the economy, of course, gets worse. New numbers in one of the largest cases of identity theft ever, the Target hack attack over the holidays. The giant retailer now saying the number of customers who had their personal information stole, stolen is actually nearly three times larger than first reported, as many as 110 million people. Now, trending right now, another big scare concerning identity theft. Home Depot says 56 million credit cards were compromised in their recent data breach, and that was much, many more than Target. If we're honest, most of us are not doing a whole lot about identity theft, so imagine how much more vulnerable our kids are to the crooks. We've discovered children under age five are the newest targets, and this is a crime that can ruin our kids' credit before they're even old enough to have credit. Imagine a fifth grader who is already bankrupt or a 16-year-old in debt for houses and cars. Thieves have a new target, and we learned tonight that one in 10 American children is the victim of identity theft. One in 10. New information shows if you're on Facebook, there's a chance some hack out there could figure out your social security number just by the answers you gave to two simple questions on your profile. Now to a notorious hacker who's been busted. He's accused of plotting to pull off the biggest ever theft of credit and debit card information ever, including stealing an astounding 130 million credit and debit card numbers. And he's reportedly a former government informant. Warning tonight, if you're signing up on healthcare.gov, your personal information could be accessed by complete strangers. It happened to this woman. She called customer service when she forgot her password. That's when the representative told her three different people were given access to her account, her address, and her social security number. Tonight at 360 Investigation on just how easy it is for identity thieves to steal your hard-earned tax refund. It's a problem so big and so difficult to track. The IRS does not even know how much money it's actually paid out to criminals already. Now, right now, this very moment, you could be a target of this fraud. Someone could be filing a tax return in your name using fake income information and then collecting the refund on a debit card. So show us what's, uh, what's going on here. So this, so put, put your card in, all right? And then type in your pin code, all right? So what you don't know, and check out on the screen, so there's a, a oh, hidden camera. camera. Oh my God. Is Wait. we're able to record your pin code.